Could I just say one thing on? I I mean, this is the first I heard as far as using part of the, you know, instead of like let's say we the bond's gonna be. I guess we're with the auxiliary pipe included. We're looking between five and six million. So the plan right now is it looks like it's going to be approximately seven hundred and fifty. Yeah. Thousand. We'll take that. We'll you know directly finance that, and then the auditors will take that out of the unassigned fund balance that portion anyway. And then the plan was to make that go back on to the bond. But now what you're saying is, if instead, like let's say it's five point five million, mm -hmm. so we would perhaps take two million from the unassigned fund and then only finance the three point five. I'm just throwing it. Yeah, no, of two. I, I think two is probably a minimum. I think probably yeah, I mean, the yeah, rational just, way to approach it would be to say, what is the minimum we want to have in the uh, right? Unassigned well, I fund think balance, that's the major and concern. And then subtract that from what we actually have and say. That's the amount we're going to put aside to reduce this bond. That would be the most rational part, I think. I think um, you have a couple issues here, though, and you have to be careful. And as Regina's pointed to, the manager specifically stated last night that the quote 750000 would come out of the budget. Mm -hmm. Right. But it was going to be backfilled by being, yes. being, being put in the bond. But hold yes. on. But yes, but hold on to it, because the discussion is going to be imperative of how this is going to get funded. I don't think you're going to have any problem with the voters passing this. I what, what I do think is going yeah. to be the issue, when you talk about unassigned fund balances, you're talking people around this table that have already paid in prior years. So that's it's like saying we're going to take money that others have had to absorb in their taxes and throw it at a project. I, I only bring that up because I think there's going to be a couple sides to this issue um, anybody that has been involved with large bonded projects, like the school, for instance, normally accepts the idea that this thing that passes, and I firmly believe it's going to get to three-fifths. I, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. Matter of fact, I mean, I'm promoting it. A lot of people are. The, in my mind, I'm thinking a bond, you know, to whatever years that would be, whatever cost. I think... And I'm not, you know, I, I'm just putting it out because Regina and her board has a big decision, decision allowed town management. We might be going down a road as a town that might put people in different lines of thinking if we start saying, well, we're going to pick $2 million from an unassigned fund balance and we're going to take the rest and, you know, the $13,000 we are going to be paying a week for the, the rental. I'm using rental for the, the, the surface. Right. I know th those are decisions you have to make, but... To your point, Mr. Chairman, I think that's a discussion that's certainly going to happen once we get the approval to go this route, i.e. the town meeting. Then it's going to go to that. I think that discussion is going to be open up for us. I think Brian makes an excellent comment here. I think it's an important to keep in mind that what we're talking about here is what the hell we have an unassigned fund balance for. All right, and whether or not we have an excess amount there now or not. Mm -hmm. Every year the selectmen take money out of that unassigned fund balance to quote unquote reduce the tax rate. That's right. Well, yep. this would, in essence, reduce the tax rate because we wouldn't exactly. have to be bonding less. Exactly. And it will also make the fiscal impact statement on the bond less. Okay. Now, when you have an excess of amount in the unassigned fund balance, you know what happens? Pet projects get funded through them. Oh, we saw that mm -hmm. in a couple of instances. Yeah. Oh, look at this is this is I have by the way on this website. I also have more articles from past years. No, well, I, I understand. And here, hundred thousand dollars to study flooding. Uh, tech upgrade, hundred and twenty thousand dollars, all coming out of the unassigned fund balance. And I'm just picking out a couple. There were several in here that were passed last year with the no fiscal impact on it because it were taken out of the unassigned fund balance. Well. I think we have more useful um, application for that unassigned fund balance in the form of the sewer pipes, reducing the cost of the bond, than by dealing with pet projects like fixing the blacksmith shop, which was another one that we, we, we pulled out. I mean, the blacksmith, <laughs> that should stand on its own with its own fiscal impact statement. Okay? So. That, that's my statement. And as you I, I understand what you're saying, Brian, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying is, is that it's clear based on activities that people perceive we have too much in the unassigned fund balance because we're spending things for pet projects in it. 
in addition to using it to reduce taxes. Every but year. I, I think so. Obviously, we have too much there, and if we have too much there, let's use it for the best possible purpose, which is to get the most important project we have on our plate right now. I think get it discounted in terms of the impact on the taxpayer. I, I, I think that point is somewhat relevant, but I think we have somewhat? to. Well, because I mean, I you wouldn't give a greater weight than that. Well, no. <laughs> well, no. But the, the reason I bring that up is, and Frank and I were talking about this before the meeting. We've got some major bonded expenditures that we're going to face in the next 15 years. So we better be, we have to be careful that we're not picking and choosing. So is this the right time to say we're going to because this pipe is so needed? There's all this extra money. Let's take it out. We've still got. Fame. No, no, it's not just that. Well, it's well, this not. is an emergency situation. No, I understand. So much that. so oh, I'm not that we're going to the state house asking for a special town meeting. Right. That's the kind of emergency it is. But remember, this I don't is think not like other things. No, but all. I don't think anybody. You're absolutely right. We're not saying we, it's not going. It shouldn't pass. I'm talking about how we fund it. So am I. Because I, I think you've got how phase we use two. the unassigned fund balance. Yeah. Well, you've got phase two of the treatment plant coming. Then we've got phase three. We're talking another, what, $28 million. We haven't even got into the discussions of what happened in a, uh, uh, a meeting with former public works director John Hangen 20 years ago when he said we're going to be faced with spending 50 to 80 millions on our road in this town. Regina knows that. I'm just putting well, it out yeah, there. We've spent I, over $2 million on one block on Lafayette Road. I, You're absolutely right. I agree with you. And I, I, all I'm saying is I, don't, I think what... Selectman Barnes and the selectmen are doing is absolutely correct in the management of the town. What I'm saying is I think there will be a debate on how we fund, whether emergency or not. Because and apparently you and I are going to be floor leaders on that. <laughs> so let's look forward to that. Yeah. But anyway, I think it's great discussion. I mean, it's yeah. just, I'm yeah, just putting it, it out there as an opinion. That I think it's a great discussion, too. And I, I sort of agree with both of you because, I mean, one, I don't know what the exact amount in the unfunded funds is I just know around six million mm -hmm. and then we got to figure out you know you got to look at everything because we also don't want to be in a position where we don't have anything in that fund bingo well, even if exact. it's even if it's I mean the state requires us to have this and this Certain and this amount. but having the amount in there that we normally have sustained since manager Welch has been here it yeah. does help also on our borrowing rate mm -hmm. it, so go. that's all things that but at the same t and I know that discussions I've had with Fred he also is looking toward you know at least being able to do what we normally do at the end of the year and put you know some back designated to just offset the tax sure. rate. absolutely so but I think that Jim and Jones also has a really good argument too, but I think we haven't quite gotten to that yet, so yeah, we'll I don't think anything we'll should get be the numbers out right and now. That will yeah. Be the, yep. That will be the Once we get this bill, hopefully where it needs to be. Absolutely. Then. Okay. 